vision. The nightmares. They're finally over. It is finally done, ladies and gentlemen. I was so very excited to actually finally invest just a smidgen inside of the Night Sister faction with the new Light Speed bundle. And of course, the Secrets and Shadows event did also come around, so we thought we'd better finally, eventually, after many years, get Challenge Tier 3 of this done. We did it. We did it, guys, thankfully. Stay tuned to the end of the video because I do have a giveaway available. So if you are interested in running the PC client but weren't given access to the beta, I've got an opportunity for you. The team that I was using is a Mother Talzin lead. You absolutely do want to have at least her leadership zated. It'd be great if you could have Plague Bearer zated as well, but it's not necessary as I've done it. So I have gone for bulk more than anything. I've gone for all speed all speed sets, all health sets over here on Mother Talzin, just health primaries out the wazoo. 105k health and 259 speed. Not a lot of speed, a little bit of potency over there, 75% potency in total. We were then using Daka. Daka, again, you want to try and max maximize her health. I've also gone with lots of defense secondaries where I can. 258 speed. So my armor over here is 50.8 and I feel like that does help a little bit. Note, I am using a crit avoidance arrow over here. I find this gives you more dependability and reliability when it comes to beating uh, wave 4 where Sidious is just an absolute monster. I find the crit avoidance means that she, he doesn't really crit me as often, which means I can survive that big hit. Yes, it does mean that you have to sacrifice some health. At Relic 5, if you had sort of 150,000 health plus is probably a good starting point. Whatever protection you got, like I said, I threw it in defense. So armor, crit avoidance, and loads and loads of health is what I went for on Daka. She's rocking 72% potency. Merrin over here, I just went for health and potency sets. I want her to be able to survive a little bit. You don't worry about speed whatsoever on her. And I put on about 50% potency so she can land those debuffs. Next up, who did we use? I used uh, Asage. I have no Zetas on Asage. I just went for health and potency sets on her. I didn't care about her damage output because I'm not ramping with Rampage and honestly most of the damage gets dealt by Plague so you don't really have to worry about it which is why I decided to go for potency on her so that we can try and land additional Plagues when we use our special attacks potentially land the stun as well that comes from her basic and of course you've got defense down on her special as well so I think potency is actually quite useful for her the final one that I used is Zombie of course Zombie has no Zetas to speak of and I went with two defense sets and a health set just try to make zombie a little bit chunky 265 speed just under 100k health and yeah a little bit of armor over here we're rocking 66.6 percent .6%, which is kind of devilishly good if you think about it only relic three my Marin is only relic one daco's relic five the rest are relic three let's roll into the footage Unfortunately, I didn't actually have any of the footage from the first wave. I forgot to hit record, so apologies about that. But what all you're really looking to do in the early phases is to clear through using your specials to spread plague as much as possible without, hopefully, without losing any units. You want to save those zombie revives for when you get through to Sidious at the end. All right, so just use your specials here. Don't worry about cooldowns or anything like that. Just spam away. Try to get those... Uh, stacks of plague out on the enemy team and they do kind of kill themselves with that which is really really useful do use the heal from massage to keep people alive because you know those sith assassins at the back they do attack under protection and if you don't have full health there's a very good chance that they are going to one tap you now daka is useful because she can land a stun but again the chances are relatively low these guys have got pretty decent potency uh tenacity sorry across the board even though my potency isn't great you might find a situation like this where sith assassin is uh doesn't have any plague can be a little bit irritating but as soon as you get a basic off with merin you should be able to see them off Wave 3 is actually not so bad. There's quite a bit of damage output, but it's mostly single target damage. It's only the B2 that can do any sort of AoE damage, so you don't have to worry too much. This is where I would recommend you try to the utmost of your ability to keep people alive, but also maintain your specials. You want to be able to keep those specials available to you for the next wave. And the next wave, I'll be honest, guys, it's RNG. It's RNG if you survive. A certain number of things need to happen 
and that's about it okay so we're going through here i'm just trying to get the plague to defeat the enemies you really really do need to have your characters fully healed going into the next wave because you do not want to get into a situation where Sidious AoEs, everybody. So we're starting off here, and I think I used the event special ability on Daka, on Zombie, sorry. Uh, that gives us the speed up. You see, because we didn't have any revives during the run through over there, Zombie revived Daka. Zat Daka then does a full revive. You just need to be landing those plagues. Use specials whenever you can. I went for a basic here to apply the tenacity down. So, uh, Daka survived again, and we got another mass revive. At this point, booyah, you get that plague off. The plague finishes off. Sidious. It's, uh, it is good, but the, I, I'll be completely honest with you guys. The amount of attempts it took, I must have done about, I don't know, 15 attempts before it landed. Sometimes Sidious will just do back-to-back -back AoEs and kill you. Sometimes you will land a dot on your Daka. Daka will take a turn. She will then die from the dot and you'll lose her ability to revive. It's frustrating and I do appreciate it. Obviously, the more relic levels you have on the team, the better you are modded, the better the likelihood you are going to survive. Um, but it can be done. It can be done with relatively small investment post a, um, in a in a post Lightspeed Bundle world. Now, you do want the Zetas, of course, on Merin. The leadership Zeta on uh, Mother Talzin is very useful as well. It, it will help keep your Dakar alive. The only other wave that I would say that is tricky in the slightest is actually wave 7. And that's because of OG Kylo Ren. He is not going to be taking percentile health damage from Plague. He'll still be able to get Plagued, but he just doesn't take very much damage from it. Now, because I don't have the Rampage Zeta on Asajj, it means that my damage for... Um, uh, for that OG Kylo Ren is minimal. You Like, it takes ages and he's got basically no cooldowns and is constantly going to be AoEing. So there is a danger there that you don't survive. But provided you at least have the Zeta on Daka's unique for her to ramp max health whenever an ally is revived, you should be okay because she should ramp outside of the realms of possibility of that Kylo killing you too quickly. He also doesn't have any health steal or any health steal abilities, so you won't. He he will eventually die. You will eventually die. It just takes a short while. This wave takes a little while because it's just a lot of tanks. They've got a lot of stats to them, but um, it's nothing to really worry about. There's no real AOE outside of Phasma, so it's just single target damage. Eventually, you'll chew through. Nothing too much to worry about here. So we're just going to go through over into wave seven now. The enemies over there have just died to plague. And like I said. It's OG Kylo here. He is the real threat because he does AoE damage a lot, okay? It's only the OG Kylo that's a real issue here. Eventually, Plague will see off all of the enemies and you'll be just left with a lone OG Kylo Ren. And it just takes a while to chew through him. He's got <laughs> quite a few stats on him. It's, you know, he's got a lot of health pool. You might lose some units, but at this point, it's fine. Between Merin and Daka, you do have quite a lot of revives. Genuinely, this took me several minutes to get to him to this point. It's not, it's really not terrible, but as long as you go into the next wave with pretty good uh, use of cooldowns available, you've got your guys at relatively good health, you should be fine, okay? So the last wave is actually pretty easy. Nihilus is going to start with a bonus turn and he'll almost always use his Annihilate. That'll go straight over onto Zombie, who's gonna revive. After that, Spam specials. Just spam the specials and Nihilus will drop like an absolute log. He'll just defeat himself very, very quickly thanks to all the plague that's been spread. So specials all the time if you can. I didn't. I used it there with Daka because I knew he was going to basic and get rid of the taunt. So you don't have to worry too much. Just down to Sith Empire Trooper and booyah. There you have it. You have got your three stars on challenge tier three. Of course, the same approach works across all tiers, guys. This is just the hardest tier, so I thought I'd show it to you first. Now then, before we finish, I mentioned earlier in the video that we would be doing a giveaway, and it is for five beta codes to the PC client for Galaxy of Heroes. It's what I used to record this footage. In order to enter, all you have to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, and post a comment down below with your ally code. I have got five codes to give away, so do that down there and I will be in touch with you in a week's time. Amazing, make sure you do like the video just in general, even if you don't want a PC client beta code. One final shout out to my wonderful, wonderful patrons. Thank you so much for your continued support. I will see you all, ladies and gentlemen, in the very next video. Peace out and may the force be with you.